Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today, you're going to take the fourth grade test over fractions, simplest form, equivalent fractions. All right, here's the first question. Make sure your name is on your paper first. And here is the first question. Okay, number one. Paul threw a baseball, 18 and 7 tenths meters. What fraction is equivalent to 18 and 7 tenths? There's your answers. So Paul threw a baseball, 18 and 7 tenths meters. What fraction is equivalent to 18 and 7 tenths? Uh, remember, you can pause the video at any time, rewind it if you need to go back, uh, listen to the question again. Okay, show all your work, please. So, and use your strategies that you learned in class. Question number two. A gardener planted 28 bushes in four rows. All of the bushes were either rose bushes or lilac bushes. The shaded parts of the model represent the lilac bushes. Which equation shows a fraction of bushes that are lilac bushes? Okay, so it says a gardener planted 28 bushes in four rows. All the bushes were either rose bushes or lilac bushes. The shaded parts of the model represent the lilac bushes. Which equation shows how to find the fraction of bushes that are lilac bushes? There's your answers. Choose the best answer. All right, let's go on to number three. So number three says point F is shown on the number line. There is point F. There's zero. There's one. So point F is right there. Which two fractions can point F represent? So there are your answer choices. So it says point F is shown on the number line. There's point F. Which two fractions can point F represent? There's your answers. Choose the best answer. Question number five. Rose made a pie. Oh, I think we missed number four. Sorry, let's go back to number four. Number four. Gabriella runs track. On Saturday, she ran eight sixteenths of a mile. What is eight sixteenths in simplest form? So number four says, Gabriella runs track. On Saturday, she ran eight sixteenths of a mile. What is eight sixteenths in simplest form? Okay, show your work down there. Circle your answer. Now to number five. Rose made a pie for her family. Sydney ate nine twelfths of the pie. What is nine twelfths in simplest form? Rose made a pie for her family. Sydney ate nine twelfths of the pie. What is nine twelfths in simplest form? Again, show your work. All right, number six. This is some of the unit fractions. It says, Look at the picture and add the portions that are shaded. So look at this picture, add the portions that are shaded, put your answer in the box. Okay. All right, very good. And the last questions on the test. It says convert. Improper fractions to mixed numbers and mixed numbers to improper fractions. So here you have nine fourths. That is an improper fraction. You're going to change that to a mixed number. Number eight, you have six and three fourths. 
That's a mixed number. You're going to change that to an improper fraction. Number nine, you have seven thirds. You're going to change that to a mixed number. And number 10, five and three fifths. That is a mixed number. You're going to change that to an improper fraction. All right, guys. Happy Friday and good luck on the test. I hope you do well. Make sure to show all your work. Put your name on the paper and hand it in to me when we're done. All right. Have a good weekend. Peace out. Subscribe if you like this video. Uh, we're now over 400. We're working our way to 500. All right. Take care.